What's going on everyone? It's Mark here and welcome to another Red Dead Redemption video and today we're going to be doing an Edgar Ross mission which is going to be in Blackwater. I just entered here. So let's see what happens. See Mr. Ross? 107. 109. He's just ignoring me. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. Jeez. 115. All right. 116. He's probably going to talk about um the location of Dutch. Because I'm not... Because I'm pretty sure we will try to track him down Mr. Marston, in this episode. Glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? What? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson uh -oh. and Esquela. Over. <laughs> Stop playing games with me. They want Dutch too. Stop playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Okay. Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all of your property. Like that little farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my <laughs> wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn. But now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. But the last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlind is holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group. Your group? As... Shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure they stay that way. <laughs> well, well, I hope that they don't die. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. Okay, so you just gave me a new gun. 43. That's good. Hey, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. What? <laughs> what is he doing here? Lies. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. And so did I. So did I. It isn't a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits hey. for the man. Let's hurry along. We saved him. What is he doing? Just get out of there. That's a nice looking car. 
Alright, Mr. Portal. Onward! Alright, skip the destination, because I do not want to, um... I don't want to watch any cutscenes. So yeah, let's do this. So we got a... This isn't, like... This is an actual pistol here. This isn't, like, a... This isn't, um... What's it called? Like a six-shooter. It's a... That's cool. Oops. Um, that was an accident. Can you please let me come back? Oops. Can I shoot out your tires? Ha <laughs> ha! My automobile now. Woo! Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How about I shoot you? We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, are you crazy? Yes, I am. What the hell are you doing? I'm pushing you down the mountain. That's what I'm doing. What happens if I push him in the water? I kind of want to just test it out. No, stop it. Stop. Don't test me, Marston. <laughs> no. Look I want to push going. you in the water. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. Oh. That informant better not have been oh. lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low lights. I don't like you. I don't like you. I'm just gonna run right up. Ayo. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Of course I'm going up. Hello. I don't see anyone. No, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna guess that nothing's going on. Man, I don't know. Where? Oh. Over here! I found him! Good God, that's our informant! Oh, save him. It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. Um, he said it's a trap. Oh, boy. I'm running. Got him. Alright, where am I going? Am I just leaving? This is your last chance to surrender. I think I am just leaving. Shot that guy right in the face, dude. Come in, I'm coming. Oh, they're all over there. Is that TNT? Sure is. Got him. Right in the face. Oh no, my friend is dying. Oh boy, I am dying. Oh god, shoot him instead. Damn it. Alright, so... I saved him. Look at it's a dude. I guess that's Edgar Ross. Listen, man. Stop getting angry. We just saved a life. 
There we go. Nice. Let's go. There might be more of them. Oh, I thought you were just gonna leave me here. I was gonna be like, hey, what's your problem, man? <laughs> Okay. Um. That's unfortunate. Alright, looks like I have to protect the vehicle. Here we go. Defend the car from Dutch's men. No, he's not hiding. I'm literally going to die because he wouldn't... He literally wouldn't hide. I was pressing the button. Hey, it's uh, whatever. Alright, so... This time I actually killed him. And the engine is still not working. I can't see any more of this. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Of course. Come on, what luck back. that... <laughs> well, first off, what luck that the car actually just all of a sudden broke down like that. And what luck that just as we finished killing the last guy, it starts working again. Wow. Just wow. I mean, it is just a game after all, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it could have been a little bit more realistic. But, hey. What, he can what can you do? Idea, Not really you much, really. At go. this point, he's probably dead. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. I should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Martha. Ah, Mr. Ross. Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderlins. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. All right. I'm sure you do. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston. Just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thing. All right. That's it. Is my game frozen or something? Um. That's not good. Uh. I think it did just freeze. Alright, well, I'll be right back.